This is one of Captain Flatchlance's family members, and you guys know what his name is? His name is Sergeant Squeaks. But here's the thing, what happens if I place a zombie behind this villager? Which house will he choose? Will he choose the nuclear power plant or the mansion? But here's the thing, what Sergeant Squeaks doesn't know, don't tell him, is that there's a trap in each one of these houses. This house turns into lava and just kills him. Whereas this house turns into water and drowns him. So which house will Sergeant Squeaks choose? Let's find out by turning the time to night. There we go. Putting a zombie behind here and hitting the zombie. He chose none of them. Let's try this one. Sergeant Squeaks is going to the house, but as you can see, there's a bed in there, and the bed is going to attract him. What are you doing? Your AI is so incredibly dumb, it's unreal. Oh, he's going into the house, he's going into the house. <gasps> he got trapped, look at that, he's trapped in there. Let me go in there with him. How's it going, buddy? I'm in creative mode, you can drown. <laughs> he's nodding, no! <laughs> Come on, Sergeant Squeaks, there's nothing worse than before. Oh, oh no, buddy. How are you going, buddy? Sergeant Squeaks is drowning at the moment. And he's dead. But let's see what would have happened if he chose the other house. Because, of course, this one, as you can see, it was trapped with water. But what happens if we put an alternative Sergeant Squeaks in here? Oh, he's going right back. Is, is he that dumb that he's just going to go in the water before it... Did I not even have to set that up? What happens if we go over here then? This baby zombie is dumb. There we go. Sergeant Squeaks is going. He's going. He sees a bed. He's going for it. He's going for it. And oh, oh dear. Oh. Oh, he's dead. He's just dead. Isn't that sad? Isn't that just absolutely... Oh dear, that's... I feel so bad for him! I don't. I set these traps up for him to die.